Good evening. This is Bedtime Stories with Carolina. I'm Carolina. Today we're going to be reading Room on the Broom, one of my favorite stories. I'll show the pictures on the screen because my book is a little small and also really tattered. And it's kind of hard to read it to you when I'm holding it over my face like this. Follow along and listen to one of my favorite stories of all time. Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. Pictures by Axel Scheffler. The witch had a hat and a cat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, eek! There flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied the braid in a bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom? for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy, and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down, they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a crowd, cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be, and which with French fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch. Flying down to the ground, she looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, Just this once, I'll have witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, 
was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched and it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. Oh, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and whew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped a broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end. That was a wonderful story. I hope you enjoyed it as long as as much as I'd enjoyed it. And I hope you'll join us next week for bedtime stories with Carolina. For now, good night, have a good weekend, and sleep tight. <laughs>